Hello, people, it's Poten. We're back on Jurassic Park Builder. It's been a couple weeks, and I gotta say that not a whole lot has happened in the dinosaur world here today. Um, we did get this guy up to two stars, it looks like. Ta da! And Montasaur, two star. Um, so I think, yeah, the Nasuceratops. Or is that, no, that's Pachyrannosaur. Why can't I ever say that? It's just so weird. I don't know why I can't say Pachyrannosaurus. Pachyrannosaurus is the only one in this entire Jurassic world. Yeah, just a, a quick scan confirms the Pachyrannosaurus is the only one that is still a one star dinosaur. And it is ready to evolve. We do have almost 2 million points. So, me, I think it's time that we evolve it. That's what we're probably going to do today. Let's get it up to one star, and then we will actually have no unleveled dinosaurs in this entire place. Okay. Also getting a few max dinos. Uh, working towards them. The way that you work towards them, in the case of like the T-Rex, or Cardonosaur, or the uh, Uteranus, is that you just have to feed them. You feed them and feed them and feed them and feed them and then they become max level. There's no more evolving needing to be done. Unfortunately, we don't have all that much food. 48,000 food is not a lot at all um it probably wouldn't be enough look at this this guy takes eleven thousand per hit of food and there's what four per so it's like forty thousand. the whole entirety of what we've got just to level them up by one level so we got to keep building that up we got to work on that we can do that through battles and stuff but i just haven't been getting on to jurassic park builder as much as I am getting on to like Jurassic World. I get on to Jurassic World probably every day. This one I get on maybe once a week uh, to do leveling up and stuff. So let's just go ahead and let's level this guy up. 19,650. That's what he's at. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's go to our not laggy area like we often do. Hit evolve. Let's see how well we do. First try. That was very good. Keep it going. We got $2,400 bucks, dino bucks, whatever you want to call them. Um, so when it fails like this, what I'm going to probably try to do is just hit retry. Um, because when you hit retry with a buck, I don't think I've ever had it fail. Like, I don't think I've ever had this fail. M it might. But I've never had it fail. There's twice where I bought it with a buck and it didn't fail. So let's do it again. Let's try. See? It's like every time. And if you end up having to do that, even if you did that for every single one. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. The most you're going to spend is like 10 bucks. Maybe if it fails again a couple times, what, like 15 bucks? If if the rest needed twice, 15 bucks and you've only spent, at that point, the most minimum amount for research? That's not bad. That's really not bad. But it's not failing. So we're only spending, like, the most minimum amount here in coins... This is nuts! I don't know why I never really thought about this before. I guess it's because I've got the bucks to spend now that I can do this. Most people, of course, wouldn't be able to. The only reason I have even 2,400 bucks is because Ludia, the company that created this game, gifted me so many of them so early on. Um, other people would have to either save them up or buy them. But there you go. Like, we're, we're just barely under 2 million, and we completely evolved the Pachyrannosaurus. So that's, that's kind of cool. 
I'm liking that strategy. When we got the bucks to spend, why not, right? Why not? So everything else has been completely taken care of here. 6,000 for 3,000. That's not bad. Might be able to level him up to max. What else do we have? It's close. Three stars. Um, now just these guys here. It doesn't take very much at all. Let's see if we can get the Kakaradonosaur up to max. Let's see how much it's going to cost us. Boy, it is going down fast. Uh, we didn't quite make it. Didn't quite make it. We got the level 38 and a half. Um, that's interesting. We're close now. Closer than ever with this guy. So we probably need about, probably 20 to 30,000 more of these to get him all the way up to 40. It'll take a lot. I just gotta save that up. So that's what we'll do. Uh, let's jump to the aquatic. See what's up there. Since we haven't been in so long. Um, got a building there to activate? Yeah, okay. That was part of a, uh, a mission that we were on. Lots of guys in here with high coin amounts. 11,000 for that one. 7,000. 400. 7,700. 59. 11,000. 12,000. Like, coins up the wazoo in the ocean here. Just absolutely crazy the amount of coins that these guys can generate. Again, we're almost ready to like level some of these guys up. We're in need of fish for the piscivores. Free. Alright. And that's basically all we're going to do here. I guess we could look at the mission and see which one we completed. Uh, yeah, we need to buy a bunch of expensive stuff. Is essentially what all of the remaining quests are about. Oh, no, no, no. Collect, collect from a Shonosaurus three times. We don't even have one. Let's see if we can get one. Oops, I'm scrolling. I'm trying to scroll like Jurassic World. Have to click on the little button. Shonosaurus, there he is. Hmm. Not cheap. Leviathan. Not cheap. Mausaurus. Not cheap. Man, they're, they're all expensive. What is this guy? Hybotus. And he's 575 bucks? <clears throat> wow. Okay. He would drop me below uh, below 2,000 if I bought him. He might go on sale. Oh my god, look at how big this thing is. You fit in the corner here. My god, that is humongous. It's the biggest one we've got. By far, the biggest. That one might be close. Actually, Colossal Squid might be close to size of this guy. Nothing else is like even close inside. Maybe this guy too? The Lincythius? I don't know. That's humongous. Anyway, moving on. Moving on right along. Right along. Blah, 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 blah. Losing my voice. Moving right along. Alright. Collecting these, that, the other things. guys don't generate as many coins as the aquatic, but they do generate quite a lot, too. So, we're, we're back up to 1.4 million. Open this up. Get a little, a little bit of XP. And then the food. So, 
We're basically good here too. Yeah, everything else here is collected. So I still want to focus mostly on the Jurassic area um, and get more of these guys up to... Whoa. Load in. We want to get up, up to uh, max level where we can and evolve where we can. So my next goal, of course, now that we've got everybody at least at one star, uh, will be to then push everyone else to at least two stars. That's right, of course, two stars. Which will, will require a lot of food. Um, if we want to buy food, we can for some bucks. Um, we can drop as much as 250 bucks. Boom, right there on 250,000 food. Um, that might get somebody like T-Rex all the way up. But, I don't know. I want to see if we can get everybody else up first. Yeah. Maybe. <laughs> we'll see. But anyway, that's where we're going to end the episode. Like this video, comment below, do all those other awesome things people do. And I am very happy to have kind of discovered that little bit of a evolutionary strategy when we have the bucks to spend. So the, the 2,400 bucks that I've got here, I would rather use them to keep leveling these guys up by re-rolling that last failure um, like we did at the beginning of the episode. Um, that seems to work very well at saving coins. So it's not a bad strategy that we could use. And while we have the bucks, we might as well do it. So that's what we're gonna probably try to do with some of the others here. We're at one star, try to get them up to two stars. Um, actually, someone like Baryonyx will be very easy to get all the way up. So someone like him might might be my next target to get all the way up. Um, but of course we need way more meat than that. So, with time. Lots and lots and lots of time. We could also, of course, upgrade these to generate more food. Cost 10 bucks. Let's... Hmm. Hmm. Let's do it. Let's do it. We're upgrading these. Speed it up for four bucks more. Eh. Won't need to do that. I was gonna see like maybe we could just upgrade it again right away. Spend bucks doing that. And then we'd have all the foods. But no, we just upgraded it once, so that should be decent. Yeah, it collects food pretty quickly. Yeah, fairly quickly. We'll see. Anyway, like this video, comment below, do all those other awesome things people do, and we'll see you next time in Jurassic Park Builder. Bye-bye.